Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we are going to talk about the installation because we have uh, talked about the same solution over, uh, overview before in the last videos. We have talked about the security operations, but today we are going to talk about installing the SIM solution itself. So the SIM solution that we have selected for this one is an open source SIM solution <clears throat> and it's awesome. The paid version of it is called Alien Vault Awesome or USM, but we will go forward with the open source. There's uh, not much of a difference between the open source and the um, paid version. Most of the capabilities are similar. For example, the asset discovery, inventory, vulnerability assessment, intrusion detection, and the behavior monitoring, along with the same event correlation. These are the things that are common in both of them. Log management, as in if you want to store uh, the log term, uh, for the long term, you will have to pay for that. Otherwise, you will have to use your own solution. And for the cloud monitoring things, it's just the paid version that is supported. But uh, before moving forward with the installation, just a few things that I would like to discuss. Um, uh, and these are the components of uh, the Alien Wars solution or the awesome solution that we have. Uh, there are three components for it. One is sensor, one is server, and the other one is logger. Logger is the one where you have a server for the long-term storage of your events, your logs, and everything. Server is the main brain of your SIM solution where you will have the correlation, you will have the vulnerability management, incident management, and any kind of uh, filtering that you want to do. Basically, um, whatever the, your sensor is going to collect, it is going to be uh, correlated over here and the alerts are going to be generated over here. You will, whenever you will log in from your web interface, it's the server that is going to respond you back. It's the server from where you will do the uh, management of all the um, things. So the sensor, it is the main interface towards your log sources. So here, if you have the log sources, all the log sources are going to send the logs to your sensor where uh, it is collecting the events and parse, uh, through parsing, it is going to normalize them and then forwards those logs to the server for further correlation and everything. We will go into the detail of all these sensors and servers maybe in the next videos, but today, just to give you a brief overview, uh, these are the three things. Next is how the flow works. You have the asset discovery in the sensor. You have the vulnerability scanning and the event collection. So once you have collected the events, that means you have collected the logs from the your log sources. The sensor has received them. They are going to be forwarded to the server. If there is any policy for the filtration, that is going to be applied all the way. The correlation is going to be done. Alarms are going to be generated and then you have a logger for the long-term storage. One more thing before we move to the installation is if you have a remote location, you don't need to install as the whole thing, the server also over there. All you have to do is install a sensor, get the logs from the remote devices onto that sensor and the sensor will, sensor will forward those logs to the server as your main location. All three components, server, sensor, and the logger in one box is called the all-in-one. So now I'll just go to the at and website from where you can download the ISM, awesome ISO. I have already downloaded, but if you just click it, it's going to start your download. I cancel it over here because I have it downloaded already. So today we're going to install it on the uh, virtual platform. It also comes in the uh, appliance form, that is the USM, but for this one, for the awesome, we're going to use only uh, the virtual one. So download, we have already done. The minimum system requirements is two CPU cores, four to eight GP RAM, 50 GB. If you do not have these resources in your virtual environment, your installation is going to face problems because these are the minimum that you have to do. So I'll just create a VM over here. Let's start with the new, create a virtual machine. The operating system you have to select is the Debian 8.6 X 64 bit. For now, I'll just keep on the default. Next, 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 finish. Save your VM and power it off because we have to do the 
settings we have to do the configurations according to the required uh, resources so i'll start with the name i'll name it awesome then we have to have uh, 50 gb hard drive apply then you have uh, operating system which you want to or the image the iso image from where you want to pick so remember this is the alien vault iso image that we have already downloaded alien mode all awesome 64 bits open do not forget to check this box connect cd dvd drive otherwise your system will not boot up this is a common mistake that we forget so we have given the hard drive we have given the iso image as a path from where to boot up the process memory you have to give it like uh, four to eight is minimum so we're going to try to give it around this is four let's see yeah six should be fine go with the four corpuses Okay, one more check. RAM is done. This is good. Hard drive 50. Name is done. Okay. I think we're good to go. We'll just start up. And this is where your installation process is going to start. Remember, the, in this one, when we start, all the components, sensor, server, are going to be installed this will make sense the sensor the server once the installation is complete and we log in into the uh, web interface or the console so here if you want to install a separate sensor this is the one that you're going to install but we're going to select alien vault awesome press enter i'll just go with the default settings but you can change it according to your own needs Once the initial configuration is done, I might uh, pause the video just to save the time. And if you're following along, you can also pause that. Otherwise, this screen is going to stay here for uh, quite some time. Um, detecting the network hardware that we have done, given, give it an IP that you can, uh, this is the IP that you're going to access later. I'll just give it one, two, five this is the one that you're going to use for uh, your web management and uh, web interface next 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 basically this is your uh, net mask next is the gateway and then your name so let's continue once it configures the network it will ask you for the password that password is also going should be remembered because that is the one that you are going to use when you log in into the web interface once the installation is complete other than that you don't need to worry about anything for now we have given the configuration just two things remember the ip that you gave a couple of screens before and the password that we are going to set in just a few moments Remember, if the resources are less that you're going to give to your VM, it might start the installation, but eventually it will get stuck somewhere. And the installation process will not complete. So the password we have already given, it will do just a little bit of more configuration before it starts the, the actual installation. awesome is a good vm okay time zone is eastern move ahead for anybody to learn the same solutions itself the concepts and everything testing you can do it um, you can have a little uh, lab of your own where you can install uh, different log sources bring the log sources uh, logs to the uh, awesome play with it create alerts 
do the investigations and if the time permits we might have another video for uh, onboarding the log sources and uh, creating alerts uh, configuring uh, alerts and then um, doing the necessary uh, security monitor so it's going to take some time over here because this is installing the whole system and i will go ahead and pause the recording of this video and once the installation is complete uh, i will resume the recording So the VM is asking us that <coughs> the VM is going to attempt to monitor the network traffic. We have just given the password and press OK. And your uh, installation will resume. There was one setting that we forgot to change before that we will do it after the system has been installed. And that is your uh, networking, the VM networking that you can do on your own. Uh, since I plan to use another VM to access the web interface, so their IP has to match so that they can both talk to each other and bo uh, both can access each other. So I'll do that just in a bit once this uh, installation is complete. We're all the way till the end, but uh, just a few things remaining. There are lots of open source tools that are being used in this uh, uh, SIM solution. The more you deal with it, the more you have deployed in your lab environment or in your production, the, uh, the more problems you will face, the more uh, things you will have to explore and you will learn along. So it's been uh, now five minutes that this is configuring the open VAS. Okay, now it's starting moving a little bit. So usually it takes um, five to 10 minutes for this one. And now we just reached the 10 minutes mark. Sorry, 11 now. So these are the last few plugins and things that it is configuring. If this gets stuck here, it'll involve OpenVAS 9 feed because uh, when it's configuring this, it takes lots of time and nothing, the screen doesn't move, it gets stuck. If you have given the right resources to your VM, do not uh, be afraid, do not stop anything it will uh, start working, it will uh, continue the installation. But if it is stuck like uh, for more than half an hour or more than all, then there's a problem with your um, resources of the VM that you have given. Uh, so just increase the resources, the processor and uh, the RAM, and it should continue the installation. Let's see how much time more it's gonna take. So we are almost near the uh, completion of our installation. Um, it took us uh, around 20 minutes to install this, which is, uh, to be honest, more than what I expected. But um, and let's see, once we are done with the final steps, we'll just log in into the console. Remember one we thing one thing we missed before was uh, we'll have to change the configuration setting of the network just to ensure that my VM is able to ping the other VMs in the environment that I have. Other than that, we are good to go. Okay, the system has uh, installed. 
and the report has been initiated. There you go, here it's going to ask you for the password um, and the username also, I believe. So for the console, it would be the default would be the root and the password that you have already set before. And once we access it from the web interface, it's going to be admin and the password that you have done before. So there you have it, your Alien World IP is 192.168.49.125. Alien World version is 5.8.5. Alien World login root password. And there you go. Here you have the whole setup. System preferences, configure sensor, maintenance and troubleshooting, jailbreak system. This is for if you want to uh, get into the command prompt. Uh, command line interface and rest is about the installation. Let's check the installation details. So you have awesome 5.815. Today is December 5th and profile is all in one. I'll just, this is another option where from where you can, once the sensor is installed, you can configure sensor from here to connect to your main server. We'll just check the system prefer preferences. Okay, 49.25. And that's it. You have successfully installed your OSIN. I'm gonna exit from here or no, wait. Now we'll just jailbreak the system and Claire, ping 192.168, just looking that if we can access any other IP. Okay, now check. Let's change our setting. We'll go there. Web adopter to be used is BM2. Password. Okay, we are just going to check if the machines are able to talk to each other. I have another VM in the same environment. 49, uh, I believe the IP is, okay, 103. So I'll just go ahead and uh, log into that VM. Here we are. Okay. Our alien world IP was 125 that we gave. Okay, connection is not private. Go ahead, it's certificate thing. This is going to take you to the web interface of your uh, alien world sim solution in just um, the configuration i'll just type that as relative security username is by default admin that's going to what you're going to use okay that password that we set before was for the root here you are going to set for the web interface separately uh, sorry i mentioned before that the same password is going to use here for the 
uh, web interface that is not the case apparently so i'll just okay and this being bing.com uh, or you can say awesome You can type it anything. Let's type it here if it comes up. It's not good. Mm, that's your preferences if you want to do it. Art. Also, do not matter. Thank you so much. Still, let's go with a simple one. There you go. Your registration is complete. Let's enter the password and that's you are logged in into your Billion Vault Awesome solution. So this here completes the installation of uh, Awesome Sim solution. In the next video, we are going to take a complete overview of what's happening and uh, let's complete this uh, or just skip this Billion Vault visit for now. And in the next one, we are going to have a complete overview of the whole thing, what this offers. No, thank you so much. Dashboard analysis, environment reports and everything. Okay, thank you so much for your uh, patience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe my channel and see you in the next video. Thank you so much.